you came out the womb, the first excited thing of life was like, yo, like what is this? These people that I see, that I hear, that I've been hearing when I was in the womb, and this person, what is this called? This person going like this. What are these things? Legs? Let me feel these legs. We were doing that as babies, and then we kept trying to walk, falling. Kept trying to walk, falling. Watching it, watching somebody do it, seeing the vision, falling. Until we got it, we had nothing in our minds that said, yo man, that's done, stop. You keep falling, like, stop. None of that was in our mind. That was brought to us before we were formed in the womb. But the Bible says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That new K-N-E-W means intimacy. It's an intimate exchange between you and God. That means before you were born, before you were here, there was actually an exchange of what you were intended to do. Then we come into this earth, we're born and we're given a name, an occupation, a number, <laughs> we're given a culture, and then we got older people who haven't healed their wounds and they start projecting that onto us. You know how many teachers I work with in the schools? And they're like, well, you know, that we, we gotta make sure the kids are being more realistic. What? You're telling a 15 year old they gotta be realistic? And you're telling them they can't use their imagination? They gotta now think about the numbers and the test scores? That's all fear that adults are projecting because they didn't go and do what they really wanted to do.